feeling very lucky today because in fact our very first day in Salvador Bahia is at the same time as a once a year and also very unique religious celebration. So we're just headed up here right now towards a very beautiful church where the special ceremony of stair cleaning is taking place. So obviously this many people gathered for some stairs being cleaned is very unique and we're hoping to learn more although to be honest I'm not sure how close we will get because everybody in Bahia is here today. Jam -packed. Hundreds of thousands of people so I'm not sure we'll see the stairs being cleaned but in the end we will learn more and let you know what's going on here. Let's go for an adventure. Muy de bon. All right, everybody, we've tried to get up close with the stair cleaning process, but honestly, it's not gonna happen. There's too many people. You guys can probably hear helicopters, which are making video. We've got big cranes with televisions on them, people everywhere taking selfies. This is, in fact, the second largest celebration of the year here in Salvador with Carnival being the first. You'll have to interrupt the uh, Channel 6 News doing their broadcast right over our heads. <laughs> Party. So what we've learned is they are honoring the statue of the crucified Jesus. Yes. The church name is Bon Fing, which means good endings. Mm -hmm. So being crucified, not exactly a good ending, but Jesus did die for our sins. Right. Now, from what I understand, nobody really knows the origin of why they're cleaning the steps or how it started, but it has come to symbolize like cleansing. That's right. Cleanse. Like Jesus died for your sins, your soul is cleansed, and in this way, there's some synchronicity from Catholicism and Candomblé, which is a traditional African religion. That's everything we've learned. And honestly, I'm getting hot and crowded. <laughs> I feel like I'm having a mini heart attack. Maybe we'll go search for some food or some cold drinks and start to enjoy Salvador. It is our first day after all. Yes. All right, there you have it. Let's go, guys. Maybe we'll venture down here somewhere. Where the bomb? Actually, to tie, you have to tie it. Tie it. <laughs> he said Canada. I thought he said Canada. Okay, I'll tie it. I don't know. Oh no. We're learning. We're learning. That's very funny. Let's give up. Let's give up. I'm not sure what Canada means. Looked like a pen. He was in Canada. Oh. Maybe this is a Canada. But in the end, he's pointing to his forearm. So I thought he was saying, Canada, Canada, <laughs> like you're from Canada. No. And I was like, yeah, Canada. And he's like, what? <laughs> okay. But we learned something about these ribbons. So there are lots of colorful ribbons. The idea is to tie it on your wrist, make a knot three times, and you make three wishes. One wish for each knot. Okay. Muy bon. Good, good, good. So, the idea is when uh, when they fall off, when this ribbon fall off, uh, my wish, my wishes will come true. Muy Yes. Okay, so you're gonna have it on for some weeks. Yeah. Cool. Or maybe it will fall off today and my wish will come ah, true. Ah, okay. Hey, first day in Salvador, already got a souvenir. Yeah. Muy
which is entirely closed and full of people wearing white clothes. So the idea is, before the stairs were being cleaned, there was a crucifixion of Jesus statue that was carried eight kilometers along this particular stretch of road. And for this reason, everybody in Salvador comes out here and parties in white, which is a color of purity or cleansing, sort of in line with the ceremony. Now what's really funny is my experience in Brazil has taught me that this country likes to have street parties with music and dancing all the time. And yet all of my Brazilian friends say in Bahia, that's the place where they have music and street parties and dancing all the time. So from this gringo's eyes, uh, all of Brazil is doing it, but maybe uh, Bahia is especially doing it even more. So for that reason, we're very excited to be in Bahia because as you can see, it goes on and on and on and everybody is out and about. And what I really love is I've seen lots of police and military police and I feel pretty safe. Uh, so from my perspective, in terms of first impressions of Salvador, so far, muito bom, very good. Wow. Oh, check it out up here. We've got music here, but we've also got uh, some sort of carnival type float. Maybe a truck with people on top. Oh my gosh, it's a real street party. It's a real street party, guys. <laughs> I don't think in Canada they've ever had a party like this in the history of Canada. <laughs> awesome out here. Wait the long. on the shoulders of the person in front of you, you make a chain and you just shove your way into the ground. Yeah. So pro tip, come early. <laughs> Had a good experience, but later into the afternoon, crazy. Wicked crowded. Crazy, crazy. Still fun. But we're trying to move and it's we're stuck. We're stuck. Okay. Alright guys, we made it. I can breathe again. I tell you what, this type of street party, I absolutely love. This is a perfect crowdedness for the street party. <laughs> but when it's like this and everyone's touching you, it's uh, it's not my favorite. Yes, that's on the next street. <laughs> that's on the next street. There seems to be one main strip where it's very crowded. Now, Ivana and I are still looking for where to spend carnival. Right. We're not sure where we will be for carnival. I'm not convinced I can handle Bahia carnival. We it's gonna be hours and hours of this. Yes, we only spent an hour so far here. Yeah, about an hour. Pro tip would be come early because the morning was very nice. 
And then once 10, 11, turn to 12, absolutely packed. That being said, very nice experience. We are super excited to be here in Salvador. Woo! We weren't even planning on coming today. We just heard about this event this is a nice once surprise, a year. Actually. Nice surprise. Yes. So there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Uh, bong in Bahia. Good party. Yes, I love it. One of the best first days in a new spot. <laughs> yes, true. Very crowded. I didn't like that part, but it was a nice surprise, nice party. Nice to learn the culture here. Very unique culture. By I love way, it. By the way, seems right to have two religions fusing together. Seems like it's a good way for yes. society to move forward, you know? Oh. Kind of admirable what Bahia is up to with these two things yeah. happening because there's a natural thing a human does, which is I'm right and you're wrong. I think in so if we go together, we're both right. Especially in Bahia here, uh, even though people are of other religion like Christian or Catholic, they still have this superstitious belief of yes. the African religion, like Got the it. gods and goddess. But they Spirits, still believe yeah. in Jesus, so it's interesting. I support it. I. I'm interested to learn more about it. Me too. Okay, thanks for watching. Later, skaters. Bye.